This is a continuation of my video, An Infinitely Flat Infinite Plane. When I was um, 19, I was given Tufranil, a tricyclic antidepressant for severe depression. I took a half dose for about a week. It takes three weeks to have any effect, but in a week, I was in the stratosphere. I was manic, including loss of some reality testing, which is a uh, other word for a psychotic. I should have, at that point, been diagnosed as manic depressive. There was no bipolar back then, but um, I wasn't. I um, went through a number of uh, mood swings, uh, ups and downs after that, got put on a uh, another tricyclic. There weren't any of those Paxil ones then. Um, one that was called uh, Cinequan, which had a sedative component to it, so I wouldn't go too far up or down. Now, um, a lot of the psychiatrists of that time, I'm uh, an old guy, I'm 50, so uh, a lot of the psychiatrists that were uh, trained back then, that were older, uh, went to med school and told, were told that manic depressive disorder um, is exceedingly, exceedingly rare, and people with mood disorders, by and large, have them because of psychological issues, and they need to be treated psychologically, not through chemical means. Well, I was always of the opinion that I had a chemical imbalance and I needed to be treated by some form of pharmaceutical, and so I insisted that I stay on them, and I did, but um, the psychiatrist that I was seeing constantly would uh, call me up and say, are you sure you want to stay on that? Are you sure you want to stay on that? And after um, a decade or more, I um, said, um, all right, we'll give it a, we'll give it a try. But when I got off of it, I was still going too fast, even on uh, the drug Cinequan. Um, I had hypomania. And off it, I had hypomania. It was really good for building a business, making lots of money, and being very productive. But it wasn't good for other things. And I um, liked it a lot at first, and then learned not to like it. And so... Um, I said, okay, I will get off uh, Senequan. He said, there's something psychological here. we got to find it. And I proposed that uh, we set up monthly sessions and that I would do a large dose of LSD about three uh, days before each monthly appointment. And um, he agreed to set up the appointments. He didn't give me the LSD, but he didn't say that it would be a bad or a good idea because that was sort of the way you do it back then. You don't talk a lot because this is kind of analytically oriented stuff. Anyway, I, I had a lot of experience with LSD, and I hadn't taken it in quite some time. Um, so I decided, okay, I'll do high dose. And instead of um, running away from those issues uh, that I'd normally run away for, from so I could have a nice time, I decided to, to explore them and see where they're going to lead. Uh, and then we would talk about it. Now, the thing about it is, at a high dose, we're talking about maybe um, five or six times the normal dose, so maybe like 500 mics. It's really quite a powerful experience, and if you go in some of the darker places in your mind, it's like this enormous wind. And, and that's where this thing comes from, the hurricane force wind or the shotgun blast, because what I found is Going there, you have defense mechanisms, and we all need defense mechanisms. But there are some that are inappropriate. There are some that are there for childhood that are no longer necessary. They lead to awkwardness and problems of neuroses, compulsions, and I decided to explore all of those. And what I found is when I went there, in this terrible wind, I could sit there and be obstinate and fight that wind, or I could just let go. And when you let go, it was like an explosion through the back of the head. And that feeling is what I'm referring to when I talked about the shotgun blast, the falling backwards, that letting go, or the wind blowing through you. It's a muscular relaxation. It's, it's a release. And it's psychological. Now, I don't want to talk about the infinitely flat, infinite plane in this video. That kind of came from this, but it's another place. What I do want to say is, is that in therapy, uh, I brought up a lot of interesting stuff. And I remember about four months into it, 
uh, I said uh, to the shrink, I said, you know, I think this is uh, helping. And he says, yeah, I, I think it is too. But the purpose of all this was to find out why I am go I'm hypomanic. And the ironic thing is, is that it worked. Because after a year, and that's how long I wanted to do it, a year, an interesting thing happened. LSD, especially high dose, along with all that psychological stuff and, that goes on, acts as a powerful stimulant. And so what it did was it pushed me into full-scale mania after a year. And when I was hospitalized for that, a psychopharmacologist looked at my record and said, when you were 19 years old, you should have been put on lithium. And I was. And it works great. Now, do I think that LSD is a good idea for use in psychotherapy? No. It's like a Swiss army knife with several of the implements all out. It's incredibly, incredibly awkward. It's a blunt instrument where you should be using something finely surgical. Uh, did it do some good for me? Yeah, it's pretty clear. Uh, it, it did. Um, but I think that, um, I think it's dangerous stuff. Uh, not only uh, for psychological reasons, but I believe, but this isn't out there, this is just my own experience and that of others, that it also causes chemical imbalances that last far beyond the long, the normal period in which the drug is taken. And I've seen in certain individuals where if this chemical imbalance occurs, normally you're, uh, you get out of it in two to three days. And I've had that happen to me, I've had it happen to friends, and I've also ha seen one friend, another acquaintance, where they never did. They were never the same. And you, you know, you might think, hmm, that was pretty stupid what you did. Could have been. Um, I think the probability is really, really low, but then the consequence is really, really bad. And I feel obligated to make uh, that, that warning. Anyway, um, that's a little bit more about the uh, experiences I was talking about. And I'd like to talk more about the notion of how these can be used um, in another video, I think. Let's see. Yeah, I think we'll do it another video.